My philosophy is that if you have the protection you need, you don't need to use the protection. A 70-year-old stops a man from stealing his truck by pulling out a gun. He never had to use the weapon and hopes the experience serves as a life lesson. He shared the encounter with 7 on your side's Rochelle Spence. This is the man four children call Grandpa Ralph. <laughs> One of the things that brings out this smile is his 1988 four-cylinder 2.4 liter Nissan pickup truck. It was handed down to him by his stepfather. And just before he died in the year 2000, he passed it on to me. And so it has sentimental value. But this week, the family truck was almost stolen. This way. His wife noticed a man in their backyard. And she said, someone is trying to steal your truck. Deputies say that suspect was 25-year-old Rusty Seawright. According to the incident report, the suspect grabbed whatever he could find to hit the steering column until it broke open, allowing him to quickly hotwire the truck and attempt to take off. And he was frantic when he saw me coming. Because the 70-year-old didn't come alone, bringing with him his 357 Ruger revolver. No, okay. I stopped right about here. Drew down on him. Duroy says Seawright immediately gave up, dropping to his knees. He was almost hyperventilating. That's when this blue eyed grandpa's fear turned to compassion, waiting for law enforcement to arrive. We had an opportunity to, to talk to him about the direction his life was going. An unexpected time to show forgiveness. My wife uh, brought him a drink of water two different times. When deputies arrived, Duroy had time to reflect. We got along very well, actually, considering. <laughs> Before getting in the back of the patrol car, Seawright asked for one more favor. She asked if I would call his mother and tell her what was happening. George Compassion George. most of us wouldn't and, think to uh, show. Maybe some of that just comes with age. And for Duroy, with age also came empathy. I know that once something goes wrong, then it continues to go wrong and continues to go wrong, and you end up in a spiral. So I hope that this is something that can uh, cause him to think and turn it around. Now he hangs on to the hope that the man who hopped in his truck picked the right house to get back on the right track. In Anderson County, Rochelle Spence, 7 on your side. The sheriff's office says Seawright crashed his own vehicle and ran from the scene before attempting to steal the truck. He's been charged with driving too fast for conditions, failure to report striking figures on the highway, and two counts of petty larceny.